today is going to be one of the experiences of a lifetime. Just to go in there and see it makes your insides float. It's just all about timing and being able to get in. It might only be open for 10, 15 minutes and then it's going to close back up. So you got to be careful you don't get stuck in there. Getting people the shot they want, having the local knowledge to, to uh, put them where they need to be at the right time. That's why it's been fun taking Michael up for That's what I love to do. It's like a sea of green that, that has all lush tones in it. The Hawaiians call it the Wall of Tears. And the only way in is by a helicopter because it, it's shrouded in clouds all the time. Most of the time you can't even get in there. The last time I did it, uh, I shot it with the wide angle lens with the Tamron 15 to 30. The images were great, but because there can be hundreds of little waterfalls, I found that when I made the final print, the, the tear part of it, or the waterfalls, I just didn't have uh, that feel that it needed. Hey Michael, you want me to make another pass? So I thought if I could go in, switch into that 35 to 150, I'd be able to photograph uh, in sections the whole wall and then use the zoom part of it to zoom in and grab as many of the waterfalls individually and then basically later on kind of reassemble the whole piece. Really something that is one of the wonders of the world. It was like magic. We just hit it right bang right on the button. Nick I got it. Let's get out of here while we still can.